Hey Libra. Thank you for tuning in, y'all. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, sign in your seventh house. It's not going to resonate with every Libra, so take it uh, how it resonates to your situation. Um, and take what resonates with you. Leave the rest, Libra, all right? Personal readings in the description box. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, y'all. All right, y'all, let's see what's going on, Libras. All right, so what comes out is attraction, okay? And a very soon, all right? So, hmm. Something's happening for you, Libras. All right, how many cards is this? Because they, oh, lots of cards. A lot of cards. Keep an open mind. It's safe for you to love. Forgiving and learning. Let go of control issues. Trust on the bottom. All right, I kind of see where this is going. Okay. One, one, one on the clock. Make the effort. Ooh. And it's safe for you to love. Again, it shows up on the bottom. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let's see here, Libra. So the overall energy is not bad. Not bad at all. So okay, never mind. That five of wands almost tried to flip over. the ace of wands oh wow that's <laughs> that's the attraction of the attraction somebody's very attractive to you libra um could be someone you friend zoned or someone friends on you take a high resonance oh oh libra the magician the chariot the King of Cups is on the bottom. I feel like someone's getting ready to uh, express love to you. Now, they may not say it, uh, but I feel like someone's getting ready to express love to you, show love to you um, in some way, shape, or form. Yep. I feel like you're getting ready to get communication from possibly a Gemini or a Virgo uh, or a Cancer, Libra, uh, or a Scorpio with that King of Cups on the bottom, but... I feel like someone is uh, wanting to open up or um, express themselves to you. And a King of Cups comes out again, baby. Listen, and this uh, card even says, um, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Um, so I told you, Libra, someone's getting ready to uh, come and express something to you. Like I said, someone is like massively attracted to you. Um, the Five of Cups is on the bottom though. So I feel like this could be someone that um, could have messed up in, in the past or someone that um, has some regrets when it comes to you, Libra. Or they may feel like you're going to reject them. They may be fo focusing on all the things that could go wrong about coming towards you. Um, so, let's see. Man, could be an Aquarius for some of you. The star card comes out. Yeah, Libra, wow. Somebody's very attracted to you. Someone feels like you're a star, pretty much. Um, and like I said, I'm getting like a heavy sexual attraction, but this could also be this person may feel like you're out of reach in some way, shape or form. Um, or they felt like this in the past. Take it how it resonates, Libra. But I'm getting someone feels like you're um, like optimistic and um, 
happy and I'm just really getting a good vibe. Someone is like attracted to your energy. That's that's a good way to put it. Uh Libra, somebody's like missing your energy and wanting your energy. Yep, the Ace of Swords. Ooh, the Five of Pentacles on the bottom. So I feel like, okay, Libra, please disregard the background noise. All right, it's ridiculous. But um, I feel like someone, like I said, you're getting communication from somebody. And I feel like it's going to be, yep, Page of Pentacles. Someone may ask you out on a date, too. Or someone may want to take you somewhere, Libra. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Could be a fire sign, um, particularly a Leo, um, Libra. But I feel like you're getting ready to get some type of communication. And it could be something that you've manifested. Um, you may have manifested communication from this person, um, Libra, without really even realizing it. Yeah, I'm not going to take all these. But, ooh, the devil's on the bottom. The Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Cups with the Devil on the bottom. Yeah. Someone has very deep feelings for you, Libra. Mmm. Page of Swords. Okay, so I feel like with this, they may be trying to find out how to um, how to come forward. There's two pages here, though. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you see in this card how he's kind of looking. He's kind of scoping. So I'm kind of getting a vibe of, because the page of source can be about um, trying to find out something, but it's another thing too that kind of stands out about this, is this person not really knowing how to uh, show love or um, knowing how to um, love you the way that you want to be uh, loved, Libra. And it could be, um, what's the word, I'm looking, love languages. I feel like this person wants to lear learn your love language. They want to learn how to love you, Libra. They want to learn how to, uh, the Five of Cups on the bottom of this deck as well. Um, that's so strange, guys. Um, yeah, I feel like this this person is dis definitely, definitely disappointed in themselves and how they um, behave towards you. It's going to be different for all of you, okay? I'm seeing, though, that they actually want to um, fix things. They actually want to put in effort with you. For a lot of you, you're going to hear from them pretty quick. Um, I saw the Knight of Cups. The Chariot again, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, with the Death card on the bottom. Listen. Libra, a lot of for a lot of you, you're gonna see a whole nother side to this person. I've gotten this energy for you guys before. This person is gonna show you a whole new side to them. Uh, you may not even believe it at first. You might be skeptical of this person or how. Yep. Oh my gosh, guys, the Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Cups on the bottom. So we have a pair here: the the King of Cups here and the Queen of Cups here. So, yeah, you're definitely dealing with a divine counterpart of some sort. Um, yeah, this person, wow, Libra, this person is going to come back in a whole nother energy. You can't be serious. The King of Cups again, guys. I told you, this person is going to start showing you love, Libra. I'm not going to take all these, but I'll show you guys that the Three of Swords and the Six of Wands uh, came out. So I feel like, um, like I said, I feel like this person doesn't really know how to love. I feel like they've been hurt and um, they don't really know how to uh, love you. The, their definition of love is different than yours. Um, but you have to love people, you know, in their love language. The Knight of Swords comes out. Oh, yes. Yeah, Libra. You're not going to have to worry about, um, 
whoever this is, I, I feel like they have learned their lesson. There's some, uh, some type of lesson here that they've learned. Um, baby, and they're determined. The chariot is is very strong willed. This is an energy of I'm I'm going to uh, make it up to you at all costs. I'm going to fix what happened at all costs. I'm going to have you and be with you and love you at all costs. Type of energy. So they may not be very expressive with their love, Libra, but I feel like they want to show you, if that makes sense. And they will, because the energy here is, is pretty fast moving. Um, I'm seeing uh, something has changed drastically for this person, and it could be their thought process. They, the way they think about relationships, the way they think about you. Like I said, something completely different is going to be about this person when they come back around. Baby, I mean, this person loves you, Libra. Like, they're, if, if you ever doubted that, because I feel like they have a hard time expressing that. If you ever doubted that, Libra, whoever this resonates with, don't doubt that. Because this person loves you to life, baby. <laughs> and I feel like they're determined to show you that they love you. And I feel like they're, they want to also open themselves up to love, Libra. So however they come towards you. I feel like uh, they are genuine, Libra. So, you know, if you're having doubts when you hear from this person, because I feel like some of you might have doubts because of how this person behaved um, towards you in the past. Uh, I feel you even though we are apart. Mm-hmm. I want you is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, listen. The, the chariot here twice, Libra, listen. This person definitely wants you. And they're, they're going to let that be known. Trust me. <laughs> there could be something uh, faded here. I regret lying to you. Oh, baby. Listen, Libra, let me show you what's on the bottom of the deck. They lied to you about their feelings, Libra. I love you. Didn't I tell you this, Libra? Listen, if you ever doubt it, this person loves you, Libra. They just have a hard time expressing it. I want to feel that way again. I bury myself in work to forget about you. Oh my God, Libra. I love you unconditionally. Are you fucking kidding me? Child, Libra. Wow. <laughs> Baby. Uh, so whether you want to deal with this person or not, Libra, it's entirely up to you. But I do feel like they're genuine, okay? Uh, take it how it resonates, Libra. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Peace out.